Today on Redneck Ramblings, we're going to sample Platte Valley 100% straight corn whiskey. Stay tuned. Howdy. I want to say a real quick thank you to all the viewers that uh, took the time to vote in my uh, uh, little sneak peek for this video. And uh, the, the winner by, by, by a landslide was Platte Valley uh, Straight Corn Whiskey. And um, I've been, I've been uh, um, wanting to taste this ever since I got it. So let's take the top off of this and uh, let's see what she smells like, all right? Ooh, it does have a uh, black synthetic cork. Oh yeah, that's corn. You can smell it. Platte Valley. So they are made by McCormick, and McCormick is in Weston, Missouri. So they're outside of Kansas City. Uh, they're within driving distance, I guess. I could get there in f uh, three, four hours, something like that. Give you a real quick look at the jug, the bottle, whatever you want to call it. I believe this is 750 milliliters, but they also make a larger one. Platte Valley, there we go. 100% straight corn whiskey, distilled and bottled by McCormick Distilling. There you go, in Weston, Missouri. Was that uh, 49, 40% alcohol, 80 proof? So this is cool. Uh, so this, this, uh, so this has two of three things going for it right now. Um, the marketing, very cool bottle. Um, I, I guarantee you people buy this just because it looks like an old school moonshine bottle. Marketing, over the top. Value, um, it's actually really reasonably priced. So um, I, I, was, uh, I was shocked to find it as cheap as what I did. I thought it would be more, but... Uh, uh, so it's got the, it's got marketing, it's got price, value, however you want to look at it, um, liquor for your for your dollar, and um, I, I will say real quick, they also make a larger bottle of this, which I'm going to have to find. I may have to drive all the way to the distillery to get it, but they do make a larger bottle. So it's got two of the three. If we have flavor in this, this is a hands down no brainer, definite buy. Let's uh, get a little pour of this. Oh yeah, well, that's interesting. So one thing I will point out right here is that they they state that it is uh, three years old. Cool. Still in Missouri. All right. Nice and clear. I think the uh, color of my. Uh, Bar there, my wall kind of distorts it a little bit, but uh, you know, she might have just a shade of color to it. Oh, that smells like corn, though. Oh man, you can smell that right off the top. That's corn. There is uh, there's no hiding that corn, and you can smell it in bourbons as well. That's where that uh, on the nose sweet aroma comes from. It's from corn. Let's try this. See what we think. That's pretty good. That's very drinkable. Very drinkable. Little uh little ethanol burn there. It's not uh it's not real sharp. Um yeah, it's very drinkable. I like it. For uh, for corn whiskey, this is a uh, I mean, and and corn is the base for bourbon. All bourbon is at least fifty one percent corn um, in order to call it a bourbon. So that is the base for it. So this is just I guess you can call it a single grain if you want. It's pure corn. I'm gonna have to do some reading to see how they uh, age it for three years because. If it was on oak, you would expect a lot of color in there. But um, you can see it does appear to have a, a light, a little color. 
you can see that. I'm not sure if it's just the uh, playing tricks on me, but I, it, it appears to me it does have a slight color. So I'm not sure how they've uh, how they've aged it, what it's what it's been aged in, but it is good. I like it. It's nice and smooth. That's a three out of three. Great marketing, great value, great taste. I give it a thumbs up. I highly recommend. Um, if nothing else, that bottle is going to look really cool sitting on your uh, sitting on the bar. I might find a home for it here somewhere. But that's it. Buy it. Drink it. Enjoy it. Have a good day.